Hello, in this video, I am going to show you how to set up a quick server so we can program our WebGL projects. So WebGL doesn't specifically need a server. It's just JavaScript. You can pretty much get you know, up and running without a server. But the problem is if you don't have some sort of local or you know, obviously an online server, you you come across issues to do with cross images and you know security around that and that's where you need a server so i recommend having one if you use something else let's say xam which is a cross-platform apache server or use lamp or wamp or some other solution that's fine you can use any of them there isn't a specific real feature of the server that we need it's just we need to be able to set up some sort of server so i want to show you the simplest server that you know you can create and the reason i'm showing you the simplest is because we only need a really simple one if you google servers so server but the last character last letter is a z and go to this link right here i want to go to this is the ultimate link that we want to get to and i will provide a link to this with this video so you can you know download it you can see from this you know this little gif it's an animation of how easy it is to set up a server so just click you know download and you'll be taken to the latest version whatever that may be and you want to download the app image if you are on linux dot dmg if you are on mac like me or dot exe if you are on windows and really really simple so if i just download the dot dmg just download the one you need so dot dot app image for linux dot dmg for mac and dot exe for windows just open it just downloading so once this has downloaded i'll open it and i'll just show you how to set it up and the process is exactly the same for linux mac and windows you just download the appropriate one open it and you're good to go so yeah just about 30 seconds or so it's just gone past halfway in terms of the download mark a little bit longer i'm just gonna have a little drink while we wait Have a little snack as well. <laughs> Speeding decreased. Estimated time increase. Okay, it's almost done now. Okay, so that's all done. And we just want to open this up. I'm going to minimize the browser. Like I said, if you're on Linux.app image, on Mac.dmg.exe for Windows. And you just go through the process for .exe, just install it, .app image is a very similar process. And I'm going to put this into my application folder. So it's there now. And go to new finder window, go to applications, go to servers. There we go, just double click it. And if you get this, if you are on Mac, all you have to do to fix it, is go to one second just go to system preferences go to security and privacy and you want to click open anyway now click open you're all good to go so if you get that problem there should only be a mac related issue in terms of the security so it's asking which folder we want to serve so i want to create a folder on the desktop and i'm going to call this webgl webgl and navigate to it go to desktop webgl port 8080 show folder listings are fine automatically show index.html it's not in there but we'll create one in a second local machine only you can just leave it as default click start now that's all done so you can use one of these links to navigate to it or you can click launch browser so let me do that and there we go so it's opened it and if i was to go into webgl just open this i'm just gonna save this go into desktop go into webgl cavs index.html let's say hello um, put any tags in there you'll put the doc top and all that automatically in this is just quickly for testing if i go back refresh it opens that up so that is it so remember dot app image 
is for Linux, .dmg for Mac, .exe is for Windows. If you have any questions or you're struggling with anything, feel free to let me know. And yeah, you can use any one of these other links as well. So you know there is, that's just because we haven't added an icon, but we don't need that for this series. So yeah, that is it. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. This is what we will be using for the rest of the series. So I look forward to seeing you in the next awesome video.